Hello everyone, this is Techie Kamlesh and in today's video, we are going to see about Android 8.1 Oreo in our Nokia 7 Plus. So, we will be getting the Android Pie update very soon. So, let's check out all the cool features of Android 8.1 on Nokia 7 Plus. So, let's go into the video guys. Let's quickly go through the settings overview in our device so we we'll go to settings so the first one we get is search settings pretty much you can search the settings here and you can find it very quickly and uh, that's the search settings and uh, you get some suggestions also which could be helpful and uh, the network and internet consist of the Wi-Fi options mobile networks data usage hotspot information about sim cards about vpn and the airplane modes so these are the statistics you can set data usage warnings also Bluetooth tethering is there, USB tethering is there, so hotspot and information about SIM cards. You can add VPNs and also enable airplane mode. So the next settings option is connected devices, so which has Bluetooth casting nfc android beam cloud printing and the usb uh, connect connections so casting can be used for your phone and your uh, chrome for example and USB option gets uh, enabled when you connect your phone with your PC or other devices so next settings is apps and notifications so we get recently opened apps and uh, this is notification settings so allowing notification dots will give you for any notif notifications here it will give you the notification dot and it's quite handy so there is also gesture here swipe finger fingerprint for notifications so you can enable it and when you use your fingerprint ba backside you can access your notifications so that's also quite handy So you can choose what information to display on your notification screen. So you can also control all of your app notifications in each app. You can disable it or you can just leave it as it is. So app permissions so what all apps use these default permissions will come in this and there are some advanced options here default apps comes in this so you can change it by going into that option so there is something called as emergency alerts so you could enable emergency alerts so there are so many options here so i'll link a description below which explains about these emergency alerts so to tell you uh, very clearly like suppose you get some 
earthquake your phone gets a quick notification when you enable all this so that's the main purpose of these emergency alerts they'll be uh, sent by the government and stuff so uh, you can go find more in the description below so special app access and there are a few options here for example you would have downloaded an apk and uh, you you need permission to install so you can go to install unknown apps and uh, from chrome if you have installed you can allow it from this source so now these settings are within these uh, options here so you can control uh, settings from these so that's all for the apps and notifications here so the next settings is battery life we have a cool battery indicator and uh, full battery statistics you click on it so your battery saver information you can turn it on off so background activity manager so you can enable this to show battery percentage in your uh, notification status bar so you can enable adaptive brightness it adjusts to the lighting conditions so the sleep time it's ambient display so there is also a detailed app usage since full charge here so that's all for the battery settings here so next is the display settings so the brightness level so there's a good feature called as night light so this helps you to reduce uh, like your viewing during night so adaptive brightness is also here uh, so you can change your wallpapers so there are some advanced which you have sleep the auto rotate screens font size you can change it display size can also be changed screen saver ambient display double tap to wake and i've enabled that option so sound settings so we have three main media alarm ring also you can vibrate for calls and do not disturb preferences is also there so your phone ringtones and uh, default uh, notification and alarm sounds and the other sounds like dial pad tone screen locking sounds touch sounds vibrate on tap etc and these are for the emergency alerts what sound you want you can uh, set it here So the next is the storage option uh, which gives you an overview of your files. If you go to files that will be a file manager and your other users also can be seen here. So when I first uh, installed I mean after reset uh, you this is the amount of storage you will get. So this is after I resetted the phone after it's all set up the home screen looks like this and you get these apps and uh, totally 13.11 GB will be used out of 64 GB and the system will take 13 GB of storage and it gets more if you install more apps and use it so that's for the storage and you can also have an SD card or you can have the second sim in that slot so the next is security and location settings so google play protect is a feature in 8.1 so you can also enable find my de device and you can uh, track your device from your uh, browser so you can find the latest uh, security update
so you can set up your screen locks here lock in preferences fingerprints smart lock so your location settings and show passwords while you type device admin apps so you can allow it so you can set up your sim card locks So the next is user and accounts so I've signed in in my account you can also switch users so I can also switch to another user here so there are two users me and my brother so we can have two workspaces kind of So next is the accessibility settings. I'll also leave a link in the description to know more about these accessibility settings. It's helpful for a certain category of people. And there are also some kind of useful features like power button ends calls so next comes google settings so it's all related to your google stuff So finally we come to the system settings where you can have your language and these are some gestures. Your date and time settings, your backup settings. So for developer options you need to uh, click on the build number so system update options yeah guys we've got the android 9 so i'm just waiting to uh, update this so before that we'll have i just thought we'll have a quick overview of the settings here for 8.1 and i'll do another video after i update the device so these are the reset options certifications so about phone if you click on build number seven times you'll be a develop you will get the developer options there so this is basically about the phone and what version it's currently running on so do you, but we'll update it soon system UI tuner you can enable it by pressing on the settings in your status status bar so this is your uh, notifications and that's it pretty much guys but for checking the ram you need to go to developer options and memory to check uh, how much total memory and how much free memory is there so you have to go and say developer options to check this so that's pretty much it for the settings walkthrough guys so apart from your settings we also have cool features of android 8 this is android one device right so we'll just check a few here so first is the uh, better split screen mode so so the split screen mode works good here so 
so that's the better split screen mode here so the next one is the notification dots so when you get any notifications you've got a message so above the message you get the notification dot so that is another one so improved notifications if you long press on it you can find all categories of notifications and you can use it to the maximum so uh, the one in the bottom is called uh, persistent notifications like if you press like this it expands so they've done a they've done lot with notifications here so you can also uh, snooze notifications you can switch it off you can snooze them so here so the next one is autofill options in your device so even if you go into your browser or if you go to some apps and you are uh, logged in with your google account you can autofill your passwords and information so there's a, also a feature called smart select for example if you select the address here you can go directly to maps and you can see them and there is also a feature called picture and picture mode so so this is the picture and picture mode you can also use it while looking at some other app so it becomes quite handy So there is better battery life and they've added more emojis and I'll also link an article in the description below for more features of Android Oreo. So I'll see you guys after updating this device to Android 9.0 and hope you all have a great day. I hope you like the video guys. So Please do comment your thoughts and give a thumbs up. So see you all in the next video.